Oh, this particular story getting a lot of people very angry the past few days. Medical aid schemes want pathology labs to pay back the money. The Health Funders Association has lodged a complaint even with the Competition Commission. It relates to the high prices charged for those COVID-19 PCR tests. Remember how much we were paying for those? Uh, the complaint is targeted at the three largest private pathology lab groups, Pathcare, Empath and Lancet. Now, when COVID-19 started, it was about 850 rand per test that was agreed on. It was then decided the cost would later be reduced, but even with declining input costs, it never actually happened. Well, let's get the thoughts then of Craig Comrie, Principal Officer and Chief Executive at ProfMed. He's made time for me this morning. Uh, Craig, good morning and thank you very much uh, for coming on the show. And where is uh, ProfMed on this? What's your position? Good morning. Good morning, Gareth. In fact, um, I represent HFA as a director as well, and that's a, a group of medical schemes that uh, are 50 percent of the industry. And so as the HFA, we've we've taken this complaint to the competition commissioner. Effectively, we have evidence that was extracted during earlier complaints um, laid at the competition commissioner by the Council for Medical Schemes and some other evidence that points to the excessive pricing of those tests. And so as we, as we look at the evidence, we thought it important for us as medical schemes to get together and protect the interests of our members. And so uh, we believe that the excessive price in amounts to just over a billion rand. And so we, we think it has to be addressed and uh, hence our complaint. So everything's circling around this 850 rand, Craig. So when we are saying that the medical aid schemes want the money back, how much money uh, is in question here? Yeah, we believe it's in excess of a billion rand, um, but I think the investigation conducted by the competition commissioner themselves will unearth uh, the transparent pricing and costing of those tests. There was an agreement at the start of the the state of, of, of national disaster relating to the pandemic, that nobody should profiteer from, from the COVID pandemic. And so we believe it's really important to address this type of profiteering by the pathology groups. Uh, is there a view amongst all the groups, uh, especially the uh, medical aid schemes that we're talking about, as to why the prices never came down, even though it was promised? Is there any insight as to why that maybe happened? I think people were very focused on just obtaining access to the tests um, and it's easier to look retrospectively and, and as well the evidence actually comes out in the long term in terms of what the costs were and so um, the action is represented or is representing 36 medical schemes in the country and so we believe now is the right time to go and find out exactly what the costs were relating to those PCR tests and then to retrieve and recoup any of the excessive money that was spent. Let's talk about uh, the potential uh, money that could be recouped. As you said, Craig, uh, over a million rands worth is, is the estimation at this point. It could be even higher. Uh, are clients of medical aid schemes going to get that money back? Sorry, so it's over a billion rand. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, there's a good chance that we'll get that back. Part of the process is that our complaint at the competition commissioner a request a certificate for us to actually recoup damages from the pathology groups. So the, um, unearthing the details of the cost, the costing of those tests, and then the pricing of those tests. So initially it was, in fact, the PCR tests set at about 1,300 Rand before the pandemic, dropped to about 850 Rand. Um, as the regulator of medical schemes set in, um, the pathology groups again dropped that price down to 500 rand. And throughout the timelines in the process, we believe there was excessive pricing. There certainly were, was disclosure to the competition commissioner at the time that um, uh, there was prima, prima facie evidence of excessive pricing as well. And so we want that properly addressed. No, quite right. No, sorry, I, I did know it was a billion rand. Sorry, I may have misspoken. Of course, it's a billion rand. Forgive me if I accidentally said a million. It's a billion. I've, I haven't had enough coffee this morning. So anybody watching this now that uh, is part of a medical aid scheme, uh, do you expect then, Craig, from a customer perspective, uh, is there a number that could be aimed at if this money was recouped, how much an individual client could get back? Is there going to be an agreement of some kind that a refund of some sort will go back to customers? And if so, is there an idea what's reasonable as to how much could be uh, refunded to clients? 
Yeah, so the the billion rand or, or in excess of the billion rand would be refunded to the medical schemes. We obviously keep very careful records in terms of everybody who went for those PCR tests. Um, but medical schemes are designed as non-profit organizations. So as the, the money is returned to a medical scheme, it stands um, for future claims and hopefully will reduce the premiums in terms of any, any future increases. So um, there's no profiteering from a medical scheme perspective. The members, in fact, own the medical scheme themselves. Okay, so the, the signal is starting to die on me a little bit. So I just want to make sure I understand, Craig, and correct me, the, the line to you broke up a little bit. So it won't necessarily be an actual refund back into someone's account. It could just be a reduction in, in premiums. Is that what I'm understanding? So the money just goes back into the pool. Is my understanding correct? That's correct. That's absolutely correct. And what's our timeline on this? So how, how hard is this being pushed to try and get it done quickly? What, what sort of timelines are you looking at? Yeah, we are subject to the processes then of the competition commission and perhaps even some of the court systems as well. So we do expect this to be a lengthy process rather than a brief process. And if needed, where would you escalate it beyond the competition commission if it weren't uh, the result that you were looking for? Is there another avenue to explore? Now, the process um, requests the competition commissioner to effectively issue a certificate um, to the complainant to then recoup damages in a court setting. And so it would move from the competition commissioner's space into a court um, setting. And that's where uh, the documents will be quite clear and, and transparent. And we'd have to wait for that court proceeding to conclude then. Uh, quite right. Craig, I appreciate uh, the time. My apologies. It looks like the uh, line was breaking up a little bit, so forgive me if I ask the same question two or three times. I want to make sure we get that information out. Uh, Craig Comrie, uh, Principal Officer and Chief Executive at ProfMed as well. So it looks like they are taking on as medical aid schemes. The pathology labs saying they want that money back. It was excessive. It was expensive, uh, wasn't it? So it looks like they're taking that fight now uh, to the Competition Commission. And I can guarantee we'll stay on top of that story uh, for you. Now,